And so, it was common practice to help the terrorists of Al-Qaeda to enter the United States. They came to be trained, and this went on for years and years. The same thing happened with the hijackers of September the 11th. The terrorists, six of the terrorists, including Mohammed Atta, trained at U.S. military facilities. Okay? Mohammed Atta went to International Officer School at Maxwell Air Force, Air Force Base. Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama, Brooks Air Force Base in Texas. Their contact address, the Pensacola Naval Station in Florida, the Defense Language Institute of the Defense Intelligence Agency in Monterey, California. The, the, the hands of intelligence are all over these people. So, to sum up, the main hijackers trained and fought in ex-Yugoslavia where they were paid by a company of mercenaries that was connected to the Pentagon. Thanks to the CIA, they got entry visas to the United States. Once they were in America, they did everything they could to be recognized and to attract attention to themselves since they were sure of their impunity. They trained in American military bases and went to flight schools, although they didn't learn to fly. <laughs>